Well, the drama between Archer Aviation and Wiscairo just keeps on escalating. The two have been embroiled in litigation since April of this year, when Whisk accused Archer of stealing trade secrets involving its Evitol aircraft. Archer, in turn, countersued and said in filings that it intends to hold Whisk accountable for its false and malicious extrajudicial smear campaign that has caused substantial damages to Archer, likely to exceed $1 billion. They are throwing wild accusations at each other. That is certainly not good for the Evitol market in general, and these two companies in particular. Instead of spending money on advancing of their Evitol aircraft, they're paying lawyers to fight their battles in the court. How did they end in this situation in the first place? Well, the dispute started back in April, when Whisk filed a suit claiming that Archer had misappropriated its trade secrets relating to Whisk's debut Evitol aircraft, Cora. Whisk further alleged that a former employee downloaded thousands of proprietary files from his work computer prior to joining Archer. Perhaps Whisk's accusations are not without merit. Take a look at that. On the left, we have Whisk's January 2020 patent application, while on the right, it is Archer's Maker aircraft, as was presented in Investor Deck in 2021. It is difficult to deny the similarities between these two aircraft. The similarities are definitely very suspicious. They say there is no smoke without fire, right? Well, now that case is in front of the court and it will be decided there. Now, this is not the first time that Archer has hit back against the accusations in court. First, it filed a motion to dismiss the suit in early June and later that month alleged in a separate court document that Archer's design was well established prior to Whisk's having filed any patents with the US Patent and Trademark Office. Now, unfortunately for Archer, a federal judge tentatively rejected Archer's request to throw out the more than 50 trade secret claims in Whisk's lawsuit. The judge took no position on the merits of the allegations, but reminded lawyers for the companies they can be attacked with gusto. The judge said he will finalize his ruling pretty quickly and proposed holding a trial in late November of 2022. Oh wow, that is amazing. That means that this bickering will continue for at least another year. That is a shame. Archer is seeking $1 billion in damages from Whisk. It is not entirely clear what sort of damages it is referring to. Now, what we do know is that Archer and Atlas Crest, this pack that Archer is merging with, had announced a revision to their transaction terms as they decided to adjust Archer's pro forma enterprise value from $2.7 billion down to $1.7 billion. Is that the $1 billion in damages that they are claiming from Whisk? In the press release, they stated that the terms establish a more attractive entry point to the market and a highly compelling investment thesis on an absolute and relative basis. They added that Atlas Crescent believes this is a unique opportunity to, to reset the valuation for the business, reflecting our commitment to ensuring long-term alignment between the company and its shareholders. Back in June, Archer alleged in a court filing that Whisk learned of Archer's aircraft design weeks before it filed its patent design application, effectively reversing claims that it stole Whisk's design. I told you, this lawsuit is getting out of control. In that lawsuit, Archer alleged that it shared its plans for a 12 rotor tilting design with Jeff Long, a senior engineer at Whisk, whom Archer was considering recruiting. Archer alleges that Long shared Archer's plans with Whisk executives weeks before Whisk filed its patent application. Yeah, these allegations are not simple to follow. Basically, each company accuses the other of stealing its design. Whisk wanted to block Archer from using any of the 52 trade secrets it alleges were stolen. However, a federal judge rejected Whisk's request for a preliminary injunction against Archer. The judge wrote that Whisk's request was too uncertain and equivocal, though he acknowledged that there were some arguable indications of misappropriation. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. 
Last month, Archer slashed its valuation by $1 billion in a strategic reset of the transaction terms with this pack. While this is the same amount Archer is seeking in damages, a company spokesperson told TechCrunch that it is just coincidental. Okay, so that is good to know. Uh, that was just a coincidence. So, if that's just a coincidence, what other damages are they seeking that are worth $1 billion? Well, the good news for Archer investors is that the merger remains on track. The spokesperson for Archer said that they have no plans to drop their counterclaim regardless of any moves Whisk may make. A Whisk spokesperson said Archer's counterclaim is ludicrous and its troubles are purely self-inflicted, and characterized the filing as full of distortions and distractions from the series pattern and trade secret misappropriation claims it faces. The spokesperson added that Whisk intends to continue its case against Archer. Yeah, this is not over, folks. We will be hearing more from them soon. Let me know in the comments down below who do you think is right, Whisk or Archer. And as always, feel free to like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. People have never seen this before. It's cutting edge technology. I get chills thinking about how much potential it has to, to change folks' lives. I mean, it's a tremendous game changer. I think it's going to raise a lot of eyebrows. We at Archer are making our first eVTOL. This is a, a vision and a brainchild from Brett and Adam, but not only from Brett and Adam, but I think it's probably a vision and a brainchild from, from even my childhood as well. I'm an 80s kid, and Back to the Future was something which was very high on the list, you know. It's one of those sort of cult movies now, having this flying vehicle, you know. We want to change lives, especially in the urban uh, environment. The traffic's getting bad, or it's been bad for so long not having the commotions and issues of like having that commuter experience of, you know what, stuck in traffic. We're really, really on the cusp of making it tangible to everyone, you know, not just a few folks, but everyone. I'm, I'm a very firm believer that the team we have now, if we can't do it, no one can. Thank you.